All right, hi everyone. In this video, we've got another roundup of some of my favorite recent educational and tutorial resources for Blender. There's so many for this video. I think it's the largest one we've done so far. So get ready, grab a drink, grab a notepad, and let's get into it. So first off from my friends at CG Boost, Zacharias Reinhardt has done a new video about retopology in Blender. It's about 14 minutes long and it's super condensed with information. It seems to be a really popular one with over 100,000 views at the time of recording this. It goes over some useful techniques for retopology and some very helpful add-ons that come pre-packaged in Blender, like the B services add-on and the loop tools add-on. One thing I like about this video is it really makes sure not to waste your time with his explanations and the video is also chapter marked as well so it's easy to find the information you need. He'll also go over things like important viewport settings, add-on settings, modifiers and tips for mirroring as well. And to be honest I've seen a few tutorials on retopology. I think this is probably the most concise one I've seen with a very good visual demonstration. Zach has done quite a lot of sculpting as well and I think this one accompanies his paid sculpting course on the CG Boost website quite well. That's not the only thing he's done recently. There's another tutorial on auto-focusing in Blender but this one's not just about depth of field because if you actually watch this video it gives a really interesting technique of how to keep the lighting set up the same as a camera is rotating around an object. It's all about constraining the rotation relative to the camera. It's a pretty cool trick. I think it'd be like super useful for showing off like character models and props and stuff like that. Again on the same channel there's a new video from Martin Kleckner. It's about making a dynamic fence for an environment using geometry nodes. It's nearly 20 minutes long so it's not that much of a time investment but one of the more interesting things about this tutorial isn't just how to get the shape of the fence going. It's about how it affects the density of the grass scattered around it as well. I thought that was a really interesting point. So if you've been on the fence about using geometry nodes, then I recommend giving that one a try. Is it bad taste to laugh at your own puns? I don't know. So next up, Jan van den Hemmel, like one of the unsung heroes of the Blender community. Well, he's not really unsung. I've recommended him before and other people really love him. He's super popular. His channel, Blender Secrets, has like a really large following as well. Anyway, he's put together a playlist of some of the most useful sculpting tips. There's a really good variety of content in this. In particular, there's stuff for, hold on, the pose brush, face sets, hard surface sculpting techniques, which is really cool. I want to play around with that more. Extruding while sculpting, cutting panel lines, avoiding accumulation when using the layer layer brush, creating alpha textures, and much more. So I think if you're in the process of learning how to use a sculpting tool set, definitely bookmark this playlist. Moving on, recently Ducky has been going crazy with the motion graphics tutorials. A lot of them are focused around geometry nodes again, which is going to be a bit of a running theme for tutorials nowadays. But I mean, in this case, geometry nodes makes a lot of sense for motion graphics tutorials. So three of his recent videos that I recommend if you're new to Blender or if you just want to make like really cool animations using geometry nodes are the sci-fi grid loop, the plexus animation and the satisfying animation one. Those are the ones with the end results I like the most. So for this video, we're going to have a one-off segment called the Arcane segment. Arcane is a show on Netflix, which has taken the CG world by storm. And actually, whenever something like this happens, there's like a wave of content coming up which tries to replicate the technical style of the show. I mean, it's a very good show. I recommend you watch it. It's 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, which I've never seen before. So if that won't convince you, then I don't know what will. Anyway, I thought we'd make a little list of some of the really cool arcane inspired content which I've seen recently. I'm sure there's more, but let's take a look. So Lightning Boy Studio is an interesting channel. They've done a lot of tune stuff. I know a lot of people reference this channel when they do like their own custom tune shaders. Recently, they've been working on a two part series, which is about recreating the style of arcane characters and the first part of that is out now it's about recreating the style of hair using the character Jinx as a reference. The result was actually pretty close pretty accurate they give a lot of shading techniques and especially about how the shading reacts to lighting so if you're interested in non-realistic rendering I mean that's definitely worth giving a watch. Now Jan Sculpts is a channel I've been watching since 2017 which is when he started his channel I think. He's like the best like stylized character sculptor I've ever seen. I know there are a lot of really good stylized character sculptors but I mean look at these results. Anyway, he's been sculpting some of the most popular characters from films, shows, video games, and stuff like that. So of course he's been doing arcane characters recently. We have Jinx, Vi, and Echo. And he also added Caitlyn while I've been editing this video. Slow down, man. I haven't even finished yet. And the results are outstanding. I mean, check out the lighting, the subtle texturing, all the fine details, the expressions. Like, I think he captures them really well. But the cool thing about Jan Sculpts is it's not just making the artwork. There's a bunch of educational related content around his channel and his Gumroad page. For some of these results, there are like one minute long long narrated time lapses you can watch on his channel and there's also some longer time lapse ones as well and then on his Gumroad page I believe you can buy some of the original recordings as well as the blend files and then he's also got some paid courses on there for character sculpting like anatomy and stylization and things like that so like Yan is just a really good resource for studying highly highly recommend taking a look at it like how does he get that lighting Oof. Okay, so the last part of this Arcane segment is not strictly Blender related, but I think it ties into Blender because 
AI is going to be something we're going to have to deal with in the creative process in the future across all softwares. So Archiro, friend of the channel, he's been playing with an AI style transfer model called Arcane Gan, which is trained on the character content from the Arcane show. And what it does is it tries to take images and video content and then convert human faces into Arcane styled characters. So this is an AI model available on GitHub, but you can also use the website Hugging Face to run it, basically to train and deploy AI models. It's a very interesting website. But he's done a video basically explaining the process how it works and how this kind of technology could assist in creative workflows in the future. So not take over it, but just assist in different parts. So yeah, I just think if you're interested in emerging technologies and that's worth giving a watch. So sadly, that's the end of the Arcane segment. Let's get back to other regular Blender content. Okay, so Bad Normal is one of my new favorite channels I've been recommending in a few videos because I like the way he lays out his videos, the cool animations. He's got like a good sense of humor. I like it, it's all good. He's just done a new tutorial about simulating sand in Blender. This is making use of the new point cloud system in 3.1. And I've had a few people ask me because recently I did a new 3.1 feature video where we mentioned the point cloud system. How do you actually animate them? Well, there are a few ways you can do it. And in this video, he'll show you one way of doing it inside of Blender. So that's the teaser for you. And also, you know, it's a proper Blender tutorial because he actually deletes the default cube near the beginning. So what are you waiting for? Well, actually, please finish this video before you go off and do other stuff because it will ruin the recommendations. So moving on, what is our Lord and Savior of Nodes, Erindale, doing? Well, they have a new endless flight loop tutorial, and I've seen a lot of results for this appearing in the community, so I know that people are having fun following along with it. Again, it's a Geometry Nodes tutorial, so you're being spoiled with new content for that. But also, Erin has a knack for flexing. So they also have a five-hour live stream where they make a cathedral or a cathedral-inspired structure using Geometry Nodes. So yes, if you hate yourself, you can go and follow along with that. I'm kidding, of course. It's brilliant. It's fantastic. You should see the Twitter post for it as well. Okay, next channel. I think I pronounce it Kamurai or Kam Kamura, like a samurai, but Kamurai, I think. Again, more cool Geometry Nodes content. One of the ones I was interested in in particular was this tentacles one. It's pretty cool because it doesn't just show you how to make the tentacle shape. It also shows you how to make them react in relation to the proximity of an object. I think it's cool or gross or arousing. I'm not sure what you people like. So moving on, we're going to do a quick fire round now because there's just far too many things to recommend. So get ready for this. Josh Gambrell has an amazing collection of hard surface focused tutorials. It also goes over designs, not just the modeling process. They also sell a lot of interesting courses. Also, I know I said it once, but I'm sorry I didn't make time to meet up with you while I was in America. I was too busy with family, but I hope we can find time when I'm next out there. By the way, like what's going on with the American Blender Conference? Is that, are they still planning for that? I'm not even sure if they're doing Amsterdam this year. I think we'll wait and see. Okay, quick fire. Royal Skies has a large collection of animation and mocap related content. Content. They've been around for a while as well. I'm sure a lot of you already know about them. Speaking of animation, chapter nine of Pierrex A Live Animation course is now available. I still personally think it's the best animation course available for Blender. Get it, get it now. And use my affiliate link below if you care about little old me. Chris Prenninger used to do a lot of animation nodes tutorials and has recently been doing more geometry nodes content, which seems like a natural progression. KF Binge has been flexing with their tutorials recently. They wanted to do some more impressive content. So a few recent ones I like are these infinite facades or facades, facades. Also this Ready Player One inspired one, you know, like the stacks environment from the film and this Moss Eisley Tatooine one. Kev is a really busy guy and like a lovely father figure. He does a lot of NDA client work, so we can't show a lot of it. So let's all just be grateful that he spends time making us content. Thanks, Kev. All right, CG Cookie has been around for ages, years. They've been making free and paid content on YouTube and their own website. Recently, they've been doing some more accessible, more beginner type content, like this chess piece tutorial. And they've also got like a vase geometry nodes one as well. And while we're at it, I want to give Ask NK an inspiration touch a shout out. Um, I'm sure none of you have ever heard of them before. Definitely not the top related videos, according to my statistics. These are tiny, tiny channels and oh, they're just looking to get their footing. They, uh, they need help, guys. Give them a watch. I'm kidding, of course. If you're addicted to Blender updates, then you know exactly who to follow to get your fix. And before we start closing this up, I want to say that I gave a donation to this artist recently, Scarlet Color. The way they draw people and characters captures the essence of stylization for a well-contrasted, realistic lens. I was so impressed. I live for seeing work like this. And so if you made it this far through the video, you are now legally required to donate to an artist of your choice. But if you don't want to spend any money, just put the money emoji in the comments below to donate to me in spirit. And that will let me know how many people actually made it this far through the video. And to properly close this up, we have one more recommendation for a weird little channel called Curtis Holt. 
He's done a video about like shading and geometry nodes tips recently. I think he also has a second channel where he talks about some things that might be useful to creative personalities, where he talks about avoiding burnout, his approach to coding from the perspective of an artist, and also dealing with perfectionism. Like, is that, it sounds a bit boring, maybe a bit pretentious. Okay, but really, there are some other important updates just to get a bit more serious. The uh, generators lab content pack for the Biogen add-on is now available on Blender Market if you prefer using that storefront. And I also have a brand new channel for documentation content. This is going to be like the most boring type of content ever. These are purely unedited videos that are going to accompany the website wiki when it's all set up so of course there's all sorts of other content coming but it's too early to talk about that so yeah feel free to support me on patreon if you like my work you can join our discord server take part in discussions share your work follow me on social media to keep up to date on stuff and check out my tools and resources at curtishold.online forward slash store oh look at all that so pretty oh what can i make of all these tools <gasps> there's only one way to find out get them get them please also, feel free to let me know what you've been up to recently with Blender. I genuinely love consuming all of this content, so send it to me. So thanks for watching, everyone. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time.